All right, so a lot of you guys have been asking me on some other videos, how in the world can you auto unload into one of these storage buildings right here? Well, unfortunately, there is no way to do it, but I did find a workaround. How's it going, everybody? Driver 53 here, and today I'm gonna show you how you can take all of your products on your auto load, and you're gonna be able to put them into one of these storage buildings right here. Now, I've got just the base game storage building here that Giants gave us in the base game. And I'm using an 82 Studios TLX Phoenix right here with the auto load on the back. Now, I've only got like 34,000 liters in here. It doesn't matter. You can get the high capacity one here if you want to. 500,000 liters, by the way, you can get here on this. But you want to take and you want to store everything in one of these buildings. I get it. I mean, you could just leave it on here. It's 500,000 liters. It, it, it's 500 pallets, right? But if you want to put it in here, there is kind of a way. Now, this is a workaround. It doesn't directly unload it in there. You're going to need one mod real quick. And that's going to be the additional pallet storage by GH66 mods. This originally came out in February 13th of 2023. And I didn't really use it a whole lot whenever it first came out because it was very, very specific to certain productions that I wasn't really using at the time. But now that we've got these production buildings after that, yeah, there's there's definitely a way we can make this work. It's a, it's a process. So bear with me. What you need to do is come down here into construction. Then you're going to go over to your silo extensions. Once you get this mod downloaded, you're then going to come across until you see right here, additional pallet storage. Now you're only going to be able to do your base game uh, productions here. So your bread and your cakes, you're going to be able to do furniture. You're going to be able to do um, cereal. You've got your dairy products right here. You've got flour. I think everybody starts with flour, right? Your grape products, your oils, you're going to be able to do wood planks. You're going to be able to do your fabric, your sugar, your clothes, your eggs, and your honey, and then also wool. All right, all of those items you can put in here. This is it. I've got other mods loaded in right now that would give me other productions that I could make, and they don't show up. So I'm going to go over here to flower. This is like the one that everybody always starts with, right? And this is what this thing looks like. It's really nice area you've got a big unload point and then it's got a spawn point right here next to it and what happens is you drive over top of the bigger one and it's going to give you the command to actually unload into this because it acts as a storage facility itself it's 250,000 liters which is roughly 250 pallets of normal product all right but what i'm going to do is i actually want to bring this over here now you can see it says overlaps with other object well it's because it's on top of this whole area right here is like a spawn point and it doesn't like that. There's a pretty easy thing that you can do. If I turn on my help menu right here, all I have to do is hit my triangle and it's the toggle free mode on or off. I, I, I want to get rid of that. So now I can place this anywhere I want to. I'm going to give you a word of caution. Do not put this inside this area. If you have that smaller rectangle inside your um collection point for your storage building this is not going to work all right so what you need to do is actually put it just out here just a little bit all right just a little bit and i'll show you what this is going to do now we're in our truck right here and i'm going to go ahead and pull over top of the bigger rectangle like i said i was going to do you see i can now overload my flour into this storage so now as i walk around here to the other side you can see that all my pallets are, are going in here right so everything is in this it says total capacity zero of 250 but that's actually this right here if i want to go to this facility here i can see that i've got thirty thousand liters of product still inside this storage i want to leave this on spawn you can see right here it's on spawn. I want to leave it right here. And the reason is because it's going to spawn here. Well, now all I have to do is take this product and just push it right across this line. And we're going to be good. It's, it's, it's going to go in here. Well, the problem is, how do I do this kind of automatically without another piece of equipment? Well, unfortunately, there's another mod for that. And that's going to be this one right here. The Pallet Pusher by No Name. This was originally released in April 5th of 2022, guys almost a year and a half ago whenever we got this thing i used it a lot then but i'm definitely going to start using it a lot now once again so what i'm going to do is get here out of the way i'm going to go ahead and go into construction and then i want to go over to decoration and now i want to go over to other i know it seems very weird that this is where this is at 
but here they are the pallid pushers all right if i select this first one you can see it's 2p x 7m that means that it's really wide and it's not very long at all all right so you can see that's what it looks like if i go to a 1p right here now this is probably going to be a lot more uh uh likely realistic of what you're going to want okay so what i want to do is line this up nice and centered right here and i want it to push it past where my collection point is okay so pretty much if I just put this right here, since I've got my toggle, I've toggled my work mode on and off, right? I'm going to be able to put this down. And actually, it doesn't matter. With the toggle work mode, I can, I, it doesn't matter on this thing. It doesn't see it as a collision, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. So it's just a little bit past, and I'm going to go ahead and put this one down. And the reason I want the seven is because that is the shortest option that I have. I have a 12, a 16 also. I want the seven and there's a very, very important reason for that. We'll go over that in here in just a second. So I'm going to go and place it down. It's $500. That's it guys. So now what's going to happen? If I come up here, you can see in my top left corner, it says move pusher. So I hit my circle. Watch what's going to happen. It's going to take my product now and it's going to push it into that point right there. And that's the problem that you have. Okay. You, you, you run into an instance where it spawns too fast and it pushes it back. Well, the good thing is if you have your auto load truck, pick it back up and run it back through here again. See this? Check it. We're going to be able to move it again and boom. Now I know this isn't automatic. See, and like this one, it waited, right? It absolutely waited. So now it's going to spawn again and then I'm just going to push it. Now, if you've got 500,000 liters of product, I understand this is going to take forever. It's only 4,000 at a time, but if you want to be able to use that trailer right there for other things, this is how you can store it, right? This is absolutely how you store it. We know that we have some buildings that are a thousand pieces. We have a 2000 piece building sitting right over there that I'm going to do another future video on guys, but this is how you're going to be able to do it. Now it may take a little bit of time, like I said, to be able to get all of this product in there, but this is, this is, this is the only way that I've been able to find. If you've got another way, let me know down in the comments below, but if not, this, this is the way right here. Just like the Mandalorian, this is the way. So once again, just to recap everybody, you're going to need the additional pallet storage. That's going to be this building right here. It's, it's a 250,000 liter storage. It's only going to work for your base game items. Then you're going to want the pallet pusher. That's this item that you see going back and forth right here. You're going to want to make sure that you toggle your work mode off so you can place down your storage first. And then this pallet pusher, you don't need to worry about it. It's going to be fine. Set it up so that it goes just over top of this. And if it pushes some product back, just grab your auto load, reload it back up, put it back in your storage and keep on going. Now, it's, like I said, it may take a while. It may absolutely take a while, but you're going to get your pallets stored in another place so you can still make more on the map. If you've got a lot of productions going on, might be a really awesome way to be able to, uh, to, 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 to let your gameplay keep going the way that you want it to, instead of being restricted by the number of pallets that you have on the map. Hey everybody, that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you would, if you want to stay up to date on all my future videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody until next time. This is Driver53, signing off.